Even in the time of load shedding, business for 24-year-old Peter Zimba of Lusaka Zimtendere compound has to continue. Peter has invested in a solar energy kit, which he uses to run his barber shop and charge people's phones at a fee. Whenever power is not around, I usually use solar energy to, to save my, my work and everything out. Due to the energy crisis Zambia is facing, there's an influx of solar products on the market. And this young entrepreneur admits that it was not easy for him to get a quality solar product. A uh, chip is expensive, so, so well, to my own experience, I bought it at the higher cost. The University of Zambia, UNSA, is setting up a solar testing facility for imported solar equipment. UNSA energy expert Stephen Mudenda says the European Union is funding the facility. There's a gap in terms of uh, the quality of equipment that are coming into the country. You know, if we do not do anything, compromised equipment, that means that is a recipe for disaster in terms of electronic waste and so on. And so we have uh, the solar um, testing center at the University of Zambia that is being set up. And the Solar Industry Association of Zambia counsels people to seek expert guidance when buying solar products. We have members that have been in the business for more than 20 years. And these guys are available to actually you can visit their offices. They will take you through the process. Government has been encouraging people to embrace other forms of energy solar inclusive in the wake of reduced hydropower generation due to climate change. Lucky Piri, ZNBC News, Lusaka.